Eric Chen here with another hobby update. June 13th, 2010. I'm not sure if I did this for the previous video, but uh, I put up a second piece of calendar paper. Since I figured I had extra, I might as well use it. Make uh, my, room, my room look a little better. Well, uh, I started removing some of the pieces on the, I believe, A runner of the Triple Dom, as well as the chest and the bazooka part. So, uh, I have to remove these parts next. Oh, whoops. Here, empty runner. So, I removed these parts. They're in my, uh, they're on my desk, and I didn't want to transport all that stuff over here and then transport it back. So, just wanted to show you guys that I started the Triple Dom, and I'm definitely going to do stop motion of it as well. And since it's actually three DOMs, obviously I'm not just going to show you guys the same footage over and over again. Stop motion building all three sets at once. So I'm going to try to make it much more entertaining this time. And uh, well, I'll give you a hint. The first DOM will be built similar to the previous two videos. And then the second and third DOM will be built by the first DOM. So, if you understand what that means, so I hope you look forward to that. Of course, I'm not going to animate the whole thing because that would be way too time consuming. But I'm going to try to make it as... So I guess uh, it'll be more comedic this time around. And, uh... Well, uh, not really has to do with uh, Gunpla, but, uh... Today I found out about a new term. Forgive me if I pronounce it wrong. Uh, uh, kikomori. Apparently a Japanese term for a young adult who spends all day in their house. So, uh, I'm sure you know what I'm hinting at. But, uh, so apparently uh, on Wikipedia at least, they say that Japan is possibly blaming those uh, huge amount of uh, young adults who just do nothing but sit at home on uh, the potential economic decline in Japan or it's already occurring like it possibly been occurring for a decade or some or so so I just found that interesting and sort of relevant to my own life since uh, I've been spending my dad's hard-earned money on all these gun model kits and I still intend on spending even more of his money and so I have to get a job at some point I just need to get past the transition from no job to job and then I think everything will work out fine from there just have to get past that transition phase just breach it So, uh, so the next few days I'll be working on this triple dom box set and of course I'll still be making hobby updates so you guys can see how far I'm progressing. So first off I'm going to start out with uh, removing the pieces and then shaving the excess and then taking all the pictures for the stop motion and then editing if necessary. I'll probably have to edit. And then... I just said and then like 10 times well maybe not that many times but I exaggerate so uh, I think it should take me a few days to do this project and I guess uh, uh, if I get bored or tired I could take breaks and maybe finish up uh, my reviews and maybe do a comparison of all four of my gyms since I have four now all one to one forty four scale. And let's see. I think I wanted to say something else. Oh, and uh, of course since I bought since those Sharpies came in a couple of days ago, I should consider panel lining some models now. Since I don't I no longer have to rely on the fat Sharpie. And of course uh, any sets that stuff stickers uh, and decals I should try to 
apply those maybe not the dry transfer decals but the, the sticker decals at the very least so uh, I was thinking maybe tomorrow I could walk into well not walk into but walk around uh, my neighborhood and see if there's any uh, stores that sell like hobby supplies I don't think there are but there might be an art store or two so maybe I could find some paints well, well apparently uh, you're supposed to get like high quality stuff like Ty Tamiya or is it Tayama I, I, for I don't know how to pronounce it it was either the Y first or the M first but so I know that's highly recommended and there's also stuff like Mr. Color and I think Gunzy and then some people use stuff like uh, Games Workshop, uh, Citadel Paints and uh, Feligio uh, I've never used it or but uh, apparently people say it's like equivalent to Games Workshop Paints so well I guess I'll check it would it can't hurt to check around right well I'm not gonna buy like super cheap paints because I don't think those would uh, work too well on models so that's it for this video update hobby update see you guys next time